welcome back to Jacob's Toys 5 Minute Figure Reviews. Please do like, share and subscribe if you're enjoying the channel. All support is very much appreciated. So we are taking a look at the Infinity Saga Surtur figure from Thor Ragnarok, played by the wonderful Clancy Brown. Now this is a huge figure and it's quite remarkable to just have as a uh, super deluxe figure. Um, obviously if they were going to do the Surtur figure then he had to be big because obviously in the film he is huge. Um, so when they announced it as part of the Infinity Saga line I was very excited to get hold of him. Now I've had to adapt my review station a little bit just because he is humongous. Um, it's very nostalgic actually for those of you that have collected kind of sort of way back into the Toy Biz days when you've got the builder figures in the Toy Biz um, Marvel Legends lines. They really did build big figures so this is very much on par with this kind of sentinel and galactus kind of uh, size from those toy biz days but he's a really cool figure um, he's made of like a translucent orange and he's got the kind of charred fire look there's various different like flames coming off of him and stuff you have made a grave mistake I had absolutely no idea the size of this guy from the uh, production shots but just put in Thor there next to him now this is my kind of road worn Thor um, custom that I did with the Surtur crown on the back so that we saw a little bit later in the film um, but you can see here he really does stand kind of only up to the, the waist of the Surtur figure now the articulation on him is pretty much the same as those of the six inch figures um, you know you've got your waist swivel your, your kind of knees your legs your ankles etc I'm just going to put a couple of other Thors here just so you can really grasp the size of him so there's one from uh, Infinity War and one from earlier on from like the Dark World as well um, but he's just a really cool figure um, I'm really like the kind of extended as guardian range that they're giving us obviously we've got Odin in this range as well um, as well as obviously the bro Thor or the fat Thor as most people are calling him um, but to have Surtur with this humongous sword is a really nice touch. Um, now there's not a lot to be said about him. Um, I mean his articulation is pretty basic. He doesn't come with any accessories minus this sword. But there is a lot of plastic in this package for your money. Um, now the knees on mine are really quite stiff. So I'm really having to try to push these and a little bit worried about them breaking. But they're just quite stiff. So you do, you know, give them a bit of a wiggle. And obviously if you are a bit concerned then just apply a little bit of heat and it should loosen them up. But you can see there you've got kind of a waist swivel and a chest swivel. Um, there's a lot of articulation so you can get them into a lot of poses. Um, overall, yeah, just pretty cool. Um, there's not really a huge amount that can be said about him. He's just a mammoth figure. Um, I'm really pleased that they made him in this kind of, I suppose he's nearly sort of 12, 13 inches tall. But I'm really pleased that they did him in this size just to um, reflect, obviously, the magnitude of the character in the film. Um, and the size that he is, it's good. I was going to grab a Hulk, but I've not actually got one at hand. Um, but actually to have him against the Hulk, like he did a little bit later in the film. Now, I know he was a lot bigger at that end part of the film, but to actually square him up against Hulk or square him up against Thor, you can definitely recreate some of those scenes from earlier on in the film. Um, now, even though I've adjusted my review station here, hence the, the ugly white line down the back, um, I can't fully get him into shot, which really just shows the, the kind of magnitude of this character. Now, if I get uh, an orange light, I've just got one of my lights here that I use for photography, and I'm just going to put him behind it. You can see that he really is quite translucent, um, and if you put the light in the right place, you'll definitely get um, a good image, uh, a good sort of photograph, um, get some good images there for some action figure photography. Um, but I like the fact that he's fully translucent. So obviously, even if you just go and stood underneath a light, or there's a light underneath him reflecting up, you're gonna you're gonna benefit from that plastic um, and from that look. So yeah, the guys at Hasbro have done a really really cool job with him. So I'm gonna switch the camera a little bit just so that we can get more of him in. So I'm gonna letterbox it a little bit. But if we have a little closer look at the head, you can really see the details. Then there's not a lot of color that's gone into him, but the paintwork is done very well. He definitely looks like kind of lava. Um, and fire. Um, this sword is just mammoth. Um, it's it's almost as big as him. Um, but the detail runs all the way through the front and the back. Um, and it's a really good paint app. I'm really pleased with it. I think that it looks really cool. Um, and there's very little to complain about. He is a huge figure. He retails at quite a bit higher than the standard Marvel Legends just because of his size. Um, but he's bigger than a lot of the baths that we get. So that in itself makes him a real... Um, real centerpiece for me that you know the fact that a lot of the builder figures that we get don't come anywhere near as high or as big as these as this particular figure um, and just a closer look there at the uh, the translucent element of his uh, skin as well so a little bit closer look there of his face with a little bit of light underneath with of course his crown not his huge eyebrow this is my crown the source of my power 
So yeah, for any MCU fans or any uh, fans of the Infinity Saga wave, um, he is an absolute must if you ask me. If you collect Thor, you collect MCU, then you have to obviously have Surtur in it as well. Um, so that is as much as I can get in in the five minutes, but I think I'm going to overrun a little bit just because I want to kind of get him into a bit of a pose and bring a Thor in as well, just to show you that even at a crouch position here, um, he still looks very overpowering and looks quite... Uh, dominating so if even if I just bend his legs a little so that I can get him all into shot let's just mess around with that a little bit there there goes the timer I've missed the timer but hey let's carry on um, so there he is stood there and I'll just put this infinity war Thor here so even in your on your shelves and in your cabinets you don't have to have him stood up fully you can have him bent over crouched over a little bit um, and have one of the characters in front of him and he's still going to overpower him still going to look really cool so yeah definitely 100% if you get a chance go and pick one up um, do not forget to like share subscribe and all of those things um, any support to the channel is very much appreciated but yeah overall my five minute figure review of this even though it's a little bit longer than that five minutes is that he is definitely 100% worth picking up thanks very much for watching i'll catch you next time Let's go!